What's up guys, I'm Tor FC Evan and welcome to a brand new Football Talk video, or video and in this video I will look at 5 candidates, 5 managers that could replace Brandon Rogers if FSG decide to sack Rogers. Let me know who is your favorite out of these 5 managers, who do you think should uh, replace Brandon Rogers if FSG decide to sack him, uh, there will be a meeting um, in uh, the USA between Rogers and the owners on June the 3rd I believe so I think I will we will learn uh, the manager's fate um, like a week from now and the biggest favorite now and the odds have been slashed massively in the last couple of days is Jurgen Klopp he is now a 5 to 4 favorite to replace Brandon Rogers and uh, I can see why he is the most popular choice you can uh, you can see he built an absolute dynasty at Borussia Dortmund working with a little money he produced exceptional young talents like Marco Reus, Robert Lewandowski, Mats Hummels, Götze and many others he built an absolutely brilliant team he won the Bundesliga twice he won the Champions League final sorry he, he went all the way to the Champions League final he lost to Bayern Munich quite unluckily and uh, he, he had a quite similar high pressing, hard working, really flu fluent style of play. I watched Dortmund a lot in the Champions League and when they went to the final, I remember in the semi-final they beat Real Madrid 4-1 at home and they played some of the best football in Europe that year. So I would absolutely love uh, to have Jurgen Klopp at Liverpool and at Liverpool there are a lot of young player talents, young players like Coutinho, Emre Can, Jordan Ibe and maybe Ryan Sterling if he stays and I can see Klopp working wonders with those uh, with those young players um, and uh, yeah there are talks of you know uh, Klopp maybe taking a six month off to recharge his batteries I also um, I also read that maybe Real Madrid are looking at him but today I read that Carlo Ancelotti who was sacked by Real Madrid amazingly uh, his agent said that Rafa Benitez is 99% uh, to join Real Madrid but also Rafa Benitez is linked with Liverpool and to be honest um, I, I absolutely loved Rafa Benitez when he was at Liverpool he's a much better tactician than, uh, than Brandon Rogers. I think he's a better manager but uh, I'm not sure he would be a success again at Liverpool because you know uh, managers going back to their previous clubs that rarely works out and yeah, I don't have to tell you how successful Rafa Benitez was at Liverpool. We were the number one ranked side at one point in Europe under him. We made the Champions League final twice, we won it once, we made the semi-finals as well and the quarter-finals regularly and we qualified for the Champions League almost every season he was the manager. Um, and, uh, and yeah, I can see why uh, some of uh, you guys also want Rafa Benitez back. Um, the thing is... Uh, we, we don't know what would happen and I, I, Rafa Benitez is quite a strong stubborn manager so I'm not sure he would work under, under this setup, the transfer committee and the owners, it's uh, you know, not clear cut who makes the decisions regarding the transfers, I think that has been a massive massive problem and uh, I think one of the reasons why FSG might sack Rogers is we, we absolutely blew 117 million pounds last summer and we regressed a lot and uh, maybe the owners just don't trust Rogers and the transfer committee with this amount of money anymore. The third candidate would be Frank de Boer who is now 9 to 1 uh, to replace uh, Rogers so he's an outsider and, uh, but it's common knowledge that Frank de Boer was closely monitored by, by the owners when uh, Kenny Daglish was replaced uh, De Boer chose to stay at Ajax, but I think the owners uh, still monitored his progress. He won uh, the Dutch uh, league four times in a row. Uh, this, this season, PSV Eindhoven won it, but, but uh, I think he's a great young manager. The thing is, he only worked so far in the Netherlands, so we don't know how he would do at, in the Premier League. So he would be a much bigger gamble than Jurgen Klopp, but regardless, he's a very talented coach with a really good reputation for working with young players uh, he brought out, uh, on a lot of young players and developed a lot of young players at Ajax and um, yeah the thing is about De Boer is he's very unproven 
Uh, the other candidate is Carlo Ancelotti, he's 25 to 1, so he's even more uh, an outsider than the Boer. Uh, but, but it's amazing that Ancelotti, uh, who is one of the best managers in the history of football, not just currently, but in the history of football, was sacked by Real Madrid because he didn't win uh, a trophy this season. But last season he won the Champions League, this season he won 22 games in a row. And they, they lost out only just to an absolutely amazing Barcelona team. But you know, that's, that's uh, Real Madrid for you. If you don't win the league, you get sacked uh, sooner or later. Uh, the thing is, uh, Ancelotti said that he might take a, a year off to have a back operation and to recharge his batteries. But uh, Man City looks like a more likely destination. I would absolutely love Ancelotti at Liverpool. He's one of my favorite managers. He won the... He won the Premier League with, uh, with Chelsea as well, but I just can't see that happening. Uh, sorry guys. And another uh, candidate, and this is a big surprise when I read about it, is Eddie Howe, who is uh, quite similar to Brandon Rogers in that uh, he brought on, uh, he got a smaller side promoted. What he did with, with Bournemouth was nothing sort, nothing sort of uh, miraculous, because he... he he got promoted uh, to the um, to the championship in 2013, and just two years later, he uh, got promoted to the Premier League, winning the league, which is absolutely amazing on a on a really small budget. Uh, of course, he's extremely experienced. He's only 37 years old, so he's even younger than Rodgers. So it would be a massive, massive gamble. But I think it's uh, it's just worth mentioning him because he's just one of the best up-and-coming young managers in world football so it, it's, uh, it will be really really interesting to see how he does with Burnhamouth in the Premier League um, I don't think this will happen either uh, the most likely scenario is either Klopp or De Boer in my opinion uh, Ancelotti looks like he will take a year off Benitez looks like he's going to Real Madrid and Eddie Howe is just a very you know, ex inexperienced young manager so it would be too much of a gamble the safest bet at the moment is to appoint Klopp because he would uh, attract a much bigger, a much better players at Liverpool. And we need ready-made talents. That's the thing about it. We can't expect young players to carry Liverpool to the Champions League. Look at the other clubs. They sign big players on big wages who produce week in, week out consistently. And that results in success on the football field. There is no other recipe at the moment that works in the long run. Uh, so let me know what do you think about all these that I talked about in the video. And the FIFA videos will come very soon. A new Liverpool Career Mode episode is coming soon, later today. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. See you later, guys. Goodbye.